Hi guys! Good day! It's me, Teacher MJ. Our topic for today class is we're going to state whether each of the following equations represents a quadratic function or not by means of tables of values. So without further ado, let's do this topic. Now, we will be explaining this one class step by step because this will be quite confusing for some of the students. But if you master this one class, this will be really easy for you. Now, you will know, class, that the table of values is a quadratic function when you have equal second difference of y. What do you mean by that, sir? When you get the difference of y, class, okay, when the, with regards to the first difference, you subtract the y values from right to left, and you have the same answer on the first difference. Therefore, that function is a linear function. Okay, this table of values is a linear function when you get the first difference of y, the answers are all the same, therefore that's linear function. Now, when you get the difference of y and the first answers are not the same, so therefore you need to subtract. Now, when you subtract the second difference and the answers are all the same, therefore that function is a quadratic function. So let me explain this one class. Let's give an example for you to really understand this one. Let's subtract the y values. Once again, you subtract right to left. Right to left. So let's start. 10 minus 8. So 10 minus 8, that is 2. 8 minus 6. So 8 minus 6, that is 2. Once again, class, right to left. 8 minus 6, that is 2. 6 minus 4, that is 2. Now, if you have same answer on the first difference, therefore, this function or this table of values is a linear function. So therefore, this is not a quadratic function, class. This is a linear function. So our answer for number 1 is not. Once again, in the quadratic function class, you need to get the second difference, not the first difference. So let's try number 2 class to check if it's quadratic function or not. 35, let's subtract 35 minus 21, that is 14. Then 21 minus 11, 21 minus 11, that is 10. 11 minus 5, 11 minus 5, that is 6. Now check class, do they have the same answers on the first difference? Nope, it's not. So therefore, if they don't have the same answer, you need to subtract class. Get the second difference. If they have the same answer in the second difference, therefore that function is a quadratic function. So 14 minus 10, that is 4. 10 minus 6, that is 4. Do they have the same answer in the second difference? Yep, they have the same answer. That would be 4. So therefore, this function is a quadratic function. That's it, class. That's how you check if it's quadratic function or not. I hope it's clear for you, class, to check whether if it's quadratic function or not. Once again, when you subtract the y values on the first difference, if they have the same answer, automatic class, that function is a linear function. It's not a quadratic function. Because in quadratic function, you need to get the second difference of y. So let's try number 3. We subtract 11 minus 2. So 11 minus 2, that is 9. Then 2 minus negative 5. So be careful with this one class with regards to the sign. This will be 2 minus, once again, 11 minus, nine, 11 minus 2, that is 9. This one, 2 minus negative 5. So 2 minus negative 5 so you will be confused oh, sir why do you put parentheses because it says class 2 minus 2 minus this one this is negative 5 we're not allowed two signs close to each other that's why we need to put parentheses because we need to multiply the signs okay so we need to multiply this one so this will be 2 okay instead of negative it will be positive 2 plus 5. Now, why, why is it 2 plus 5, sir? Because negative times negative, it will be positive. So, that will be 2 plus 5. And 2 plus 5, that is 7. So, this will be 7. Alright, and then this one, negative 5 minus negative 10. So, negative 5 minus negative 10. So, negative 5 minus negative 10. So, copy negative 5, then multiply the signs, negative times negative, this will be positive. So, this will be negative 5 plus 10. So, once again, combining unlike signs of integers, 
If the signs are not the same, you subtract. 10 minus 5 is 5. Then you copy the sign of the larger number. 10 is greater than 5, so we have positive 5. So this will be positive 5. Then last one. Negative 10 minus 13. So negative 10 minus, sorry. Negative 10 minus negative 13. Once again, you put parenthesis because we're not allowed two signs, two negative signs close to each other. So this will be negative 10. Then you multiply the signs, negative times negative. That would be positive. So negative 10 plus 13. And if they don't have the same sign, you subtract. 13 minus 10 is 3. Then copy the sign of the larger number. So that would be positive 3. Alright, now, be careful with this one class. When you subtract, do they have the same first common difference? Do they have the same common first common difference? Nope, they don't have the same common difference, first common difference. Therefore, we need to get the second difference. Let's check if they have the same second difference. Let's subtract 7 minus 9. Oh, sorry, 9 minus 7. It should be right to left plus. Be careful with that one. It should be right to left. Right to left. So 9 minus 7, that is 2. 7 minus 5, that is 2. 5 minus 3, that is 2. So do they have the same second difference? Yep, they have the same second difference. Therefore, this number 3 is a quadratic function. Alright, I hope it's clear for you, class, with regards to quadratic function and not. Let's try number 4. Let's subtract. Right to left, 5 minus 4, that is 1. 4 minus 3, that is 1. 3 minus 2, that is 1. 2 minus 1, that is 1. Do they have the same first, e first difference, equal first difference? Yep, they have the same first difference. So therefore... They have the same first difference, therefore this function for number 4 is a linear function. So this is not a quadratic function class. This is a linear function. That's it class. Easy right for the quadratic function? I hope you learned something new today class. Do not forget to like, share, and subscribe. You share it to your friends and to your classmates so that we can help more students. Once again, this is teacher MJ. Have a great day class. Goodbye for now. Bye-bye.